What is up, y'all? It's the Eric B, your stream teach here. And today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going into the r slash Twitch subreddit, finding questions, answering them for you. It's just so we got some things out of the way. We've got what streaming equipment should I start out with? Is my stream summary killing my morale? And should I stream multiple times in one day? These things might get a little bit in depth, so sit back, relax, get your questions answered. Let's get into it. Class is in session. Our first question comes from JGNJ85. They say, what equipment do you recommend I get to start a Twitch channel? I plan on trying out streaming on Twitch, so I was hoping some people can help me out on here what I need exactly. That's exactly how it's written. Right now, all I have is a 2060 RTX gaming PC. What precisely do you recommend I get to stream on Twitch? A decent condenser microphone. You can look up reviews on YouTube. This right here is the Samson C0. What is this shit called? It's called the C01U microphone, and you can't really get these anymore. Sorry, I'm gonna touch the mic some more. You can't really get these anymore, this specific model, but there is an updated model on Amazon that you can get. It works very well for me. It is a very good microphone if you just wanna stream from your desk. If you want to use a headset, I would just say any headset would do as soon as you're starting out. Just get something that will make sure that people hear you. I'm not huge on buying a bunch of equipment at the beginning of streaming. What I prefer to do is use the money that I make from streaming and funnel that back into my equipment. I would recommend a webcam because we've talked about this in my cameras video, but if you wanna get viewers, it's preferred that you have a webcam. The Logitech C920 is the popular choice. It's what I have almost always used since I've been making videos on the internet. And it's not the greatest, it requires a lot of light, but having that camera, that microphone, honestly, that's all you need. You got a 2060 RTX, that's fine to play most games if you have to tweak your settings as you play those games that's all you need to do it's fine and if you want to get a cheaper microphone which i do recommend when you're first starting out just look on amazon it's got all the answers if you find a product look up reviews of that product hear how that sounds in your headphones through other reviews that's how you should shop for products look at the reviews listen to it with headphones so you know exactly what your audience hears when you are listening to what you're seeing. Our next question or statement comes from Ape King the Ninth, and it's titled, Your Stream Summary Email Sometimes Breaks You. Hello everyone, just wonder if there are others out there feeling the same after a stream. I'm kind of new to streaming and I do it as a hobby since my IRL job takes too many hours of my day. I try to be as much engaging as I can with the chat. That's the best part for me. So I almost always talk about anything all the time, but I go for days, sometimes weeks without a single follower. And when the email arrives, I see, for example, that 10 new people visit it and it makes you think, I wasn't able to keep at least one. What am I doing wrong? Or is this how it's supposed to be? As I said, that sometimes hits hard, even though I wanna keep doing it no matter what, it can be discouraging. Thank you if you take the time to read or comment. Peace. I hope you appreciate me taking the time to answer this on video, but I don't know if Ape King will ever see this, but I wouldn't harp on it too much. I think this goes into what I've talked about, I think in my first video I've ever made on this channel under the name Streamer School, which is about the purpose of why you stream. If you stream for viewers, that comes with having to be consistent honestly and that might come with some discouragement you know my video last week youtube would not shut up about how terrible that video was doing but i know that it comes with consistency and if you continue to do things well people will eventually show up and want to share what you do that's the philosophy i live off of i would say 
maybe check out your own vod and see if this is something else i said in my first video check out your own vod see if you would watch you see if there's something that is not engaging about your content maybe ask a friend preferably a friend who watches twitch already they might be able to give you some insight onto why the viewers aren't sticking around so it's good to talk about anything that's great honestly but there's streams when i don't get a single follower and i've been doing this for three years pretty steady so you're gonna get those stream summary emails and those stream summaries will tell you how much worse or better you've done since the previous stream and sometimes that can break you but if it does discourage you too much just turn them off and that might be the best thing to do if you're just streaming as a hobby and you just want people to pop in watch you say something in the chat when they have time or something maybe your best option is to unsubscribe from those specific emails so you can enjoy your time streaming on twitch just as a hobby so you don't feel pressure and just know you're never going to retain the the same amount of people who actually show up to only watch your stream for a bit it just doesn't happen and to go back to this youtube channel i think 80 percent of people who watch my videos are not subscribed to me so feel free to do that Alrighty, this next question comes from eris filiday hopefully i've pronounced that correctly i've probably butchered it i did my best but variety streamer streaming twice in a day. I started on Twitch about six months ago and I've seen relatively steady growth streaming on average three to four days a week. My average viewership is doubled and we have a good little community going on and lots of new friends. I stream a variety of games, usually at about 9 p.m. to midnight, but I'm also an artist attending the local college a few times a week. I was thinking on some of the days where I've only had a part day at college, I could stream some drawing crafts in the afternoons. A number of folk in my chat said they would be interested in seeing that, but I know realistically they aren't all going to be able to join regularly due to other commitments. But that could be balanced by reaching to new audiences. Is there any consensus on whether streaming twice a day is an overall positive or negative move? Or is it a move with no real discernible trend? I should add, because of the usual points, RE burnout, this wouldn't be every day, just my partial days in college, and something I would likely do off stream regardless. But if it has a general trend of tanking analytics, I'll probably avoid broadcasting it. This is something that is pretty interesting because I'm a variety streamer as well. I also stream three to four days a week, well, four days a week, but my content isn't all just gaming i also do some just chatting stuff with art i've seen people do art streams as well as gaming streams as well as chatting streams and they juggle it all the thing about this is people will watch you twice a day if they are there for you and not just your game i always say make you the star make the game more so your featured artist so if your audience is like that that's great you really have the power to do anything on twitch for your audience which is where i think the real power lies however there's another part of me that sees streaming twice in a day and it reminds me of another video i've made before which is called 10 reasons why you should stream less and it makes me think that maybe you could not stream those on twitch but maybe you can stream those in discord and maybe you can even monetize those streams in discord to give people who really want to see that the access to watch that in discord and also give them entertainment strengthen the relationship with them but also not annoy your more fair weather viewers with notifications and just letting them know that you go live so if you do the art while in discord the people can have a conversation with you and it's an entirely different experience for them instead of going back on twitch over and over and over again and even risking analytics being tanked and you could also encourage the people who don't come to your art streams a reason to subscribe to you and be able to get access to your art streams that's how I prefer to do things when I'm playing a game, for instance, that I don't want to stream because whatever reasons it might be, maybe I just want to 
play it by myself and I don't want to talk much. I just want to play it in Discord. I'll let my subscribers come and watch me. And you can set up your Discord to be subscriber only for certain voice channels. So that might be something to consider as well. And with that, you don't have to set up the expectations that I will be streaming multiple times a day. It's just a lot less committal and it's a lot less risky. And that is another way to incentivize your actual subscribers. So I would say consider that. But the best advice I can give a lot of you for any ideas that you have is to just try it out. Give it a pilot. See if it works for you and your audience. If it seems to not work, maybe you can try something else. This is all about mistakes being the best teachers. Like I'm not the best teacher. Mistakes are. You look at things, find out they don't work. That's the best way to know what you should be doing next. And let's see if we can find one more. All right, this last question comes from Kitchen Salt. They said, I feel like my expectations are set too high. I'm a little worried that I've got my expectations too high. I just streamed for the very first time two days ago and it went amazing. I originally was going to do a short stream as a test run and see if I enjoyed myself and I was expecting to have maybe one viewer if that popped by. In reality, I got rated twice and had up to 13 viewers at once. I ended up streaming for seven hours and gaining 11 followers as well as an active chat. I completely understand that I had some strange luck, but now I'm worried that if I stream again, I'll feel like I'm doing worse because of how well the first time went. I really enjoyed myself and definitely want to stream again. I just guess I would like some advice on what to expect. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Meaning that don't make this stop you from streaming. You have to keep the momentum going. And when people follow you, they might forget that you exist if you don't stream another time soon enough. They might forget what your name is or why they even followed you. So there is a sense of having a strike while the iron's hot. And if those people wanted to follow you, there's a reason for that. I would say since that was simply your first stream, I would tweak everything possible before your next stream, but also don't get into analysis paralysis. Don't make it so long until you stream for that next time. You really have to not be scared. You're gonna have great days and you're gonna have terrible days, but overall consistency is key. You have to stay in people's minds because attention spans are short. So you might, you know, not get a whole lot of people next time, but it's still a good thing if you don't have a whole lot of people, because if last time was your first time, you still have opportunities to tweak and change things. So when people actually do discover you on a more consistent basis, you will be a much better streamer than you were the last time you streamed. And that's when you want people to find you. You don't want people to find you when you first start streaming because that's when you make the most mistakes. That's when you have the opportunities to grow and to really change and adjust what your actual content is. So instead of focusing on the numbers, the statistics, the analytics, focus on the content itself. And then you don't even need those first 13 people at once chatting. You'll have a new 13 people or a new five or a new three or a new two or one. And then those people will just add on. So just focus on the content. Don't worry about the number so much. Everything will be fine. Just don't be scared. Just do it. Just stream. Just do it. Analyze your first stream. If there's anything, audio, lighting, video that you can fix, fix those things. If you feel like you should be talking more, fix those things. This is your time. And yeah, this is pretty lucky. So good luck on your affiliate. And that's it. Hopefully you learned something in this video. If you know anybody who can benefit from it, feel free to send this to them. And if you have any questions about anything I've said in the video, feel free to drop a comment or come by my Twitch page any Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or old school Saturday, and I can answer them there, or you can just join my Discord and we can talk about it there. If I've said anything that you like, feel free to like the video. And we're gonna keep doing these. I had fun doing this one, and it's a pretty efficient way to get a lot of information out there. So look forward to more in the future. Class dismissed.
Maybe it's like Noctis or something. No, it's not Noctis. I feel like I won that one too. No, no, I lost. I lost? Who was that? 